my favorite comfort streamer Alex Hart Booty Booty Love. Chulu Alex Cozy.
Lucky 13. Emojis in chat to claim good luck. Four months. Hope everyone has a good day. Smile. Happy Wednesday everyone. Hello, there we go.
a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Willie hears ya. Hello? Hello? I took a long nap and now my head hoodie. Yeah, I feel sick. I feel like that's me. Anytime I take a nap, I wake up, I'm like, Ugh, I feel sick and shitty. That was a terrible idea. But every time I'm like, should I have a nap? Yeah, I should have a nap. I don't know why. I don't know why. How's everybody doing today? I feel like I'm so bright. Does this look right? Do I look very bright or do I look okay? I can't tell. Naps are pog. I don't like naps. Commit tax fraud whenever possible hair care routine um wash it once a month easy uh extra white alex bro that's just regular alex though hold on let me let me fix white why see that's too dark let's do this we do this and then i do this i got you okay i got you Type in the cheat codes. Oh, my Wi Fi is off. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody, breathe. Everybody, breathe. Um, when I actually fall asleep in a nap, I get super drowsy after. Exactly, same. I'm super tired. <sighs> I made it brighter. I do this on the computer, this might be easier. How's that? That looks better, right? I think? I don't know. Chalo! <laughs> I bleached my hair and I swear my Gardening Naturals kid shampoo. Oh, you... Really? Whoa. I can't nap. I always sleep for three plus hours. Yeah, it's hard. My dinner came off the grill just in time for stream. Let's go! What'd you get? What'd you be grilling today, bro? What'd you be grilling today? You look great. I look great on camera. Like I look, I look, I'm like, oh wow, my hair looks so nice and everything looks great. I'm like, it's just the camera. It's just the camera guys. I promise you in real life, my hair is so greasy. I have like so much dry shampoo in it. Like it's like, and you guys are like, girl, what's your secret? Drop that hair care routine. I'm over here like, ha, they don't know. I haven't showered in a month. No, I'm just kidding, not that long, but too long. Uh, I'm making veggie burgers right now. Let's go. I'm high as fuck. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be great. Uh-oh. Uh, thank you. I don't get stinky, bro. Grease is a routine. I will die by this. Fair. Hi from Germany, you cutie. Strawberry quiche. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. We have room for a new quiche. Um, the camera adds 10 pounds of beauty. <laughs> You're silly. The camera adds 10 pounds of beauty. It does. It's called natural filter with harsh lighting and not high quality camera. I'm telling you. Dude, my coworker asked why my hair looked nice and it was it was on day three with dry shampoo. Right? Right? Shit, girl. Join me in space. What does that mean? Hair appointment for mullet win next week. Next week on Tuesday. I want to say Tuesday. It's in eight. It's six days. Six days. Very anxious. I think I'm going to do like an in-between. So not like a full like bang bang, but it's going to be like a like a retro y curtain -y bang. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tuesday. Yeah, we hit a goal. I'm doing like a wolf cut shag. Very excited. Very, very stressed about it. You know? Uh, 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 I know exactly because that's how I cut mine. Does yours look like that? What kind of stizzy do you use? Um, the stizzy kind? 26 months, Pog, let's What do you go. mean? You're gonna be the new kind of emo baddie? I don't think I'm gonna be kind of emo. Strawberry Keys! Thank you for the sub! Hello? Not even a prime? Hello? Wow, okay. Y'all flattering me today. Uh, sucks eggs, thank you for 26 months. Tear you up! Thank you for the 15 months. Super tee hee! Thank you for the two months. Ed and Jail Wag, they were the four months. Couch couple here, thanks for being part of our routine. Thank you for making me a part of your routine. That means that you like what I say sometimes, maybe, you know? Or you don't like what I say, but you hate watching me. But thank you for being here anyway. Uh, Lammy Amuse, thank you for the four months. Bro, it was funny to me. Some people 
will discover my channel on YouTube and then they'll be like really angry about it. So then they'll go in and start like hate commenting on like all my videos and I can see like video after video of them popping up. But the thing is, is like they watch them because they reference things in the videos. And I'm like, why are you watching all of these? And then commenting like, I appreciate you. You're helping with the algorithm. I do appreciate you. Please don't stop. Please keep hating me because it well, really we... does help with the algorithm. But I'm like, I'm so confused. It's mostly like, you think this is funny? And then they reference like a joke I made. They're like, yeah, this isn't funny. This is bad. Like, you're not funny. I was like, but you watched the whole thing, dog. That's like at the end. I don't even, I hate you so much. I'm going to watch all your, I'm going to watch your whole video. I'm gonna watch your whole video. I didn't know you had your own stream. Really? Hello, Kenny. Sheesh. They love you so much. It's like, they love me. Like, why you so obsessed with me? It must be funny if you remember the line that is said, right? Or they'll like timestamp something, be like, wow, wow, you're awful and gross and I hate you. But I watched the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe you're more of a guilty pleasure. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, some people like to hate watch for some reason. Yeah, but like genuinely, see, I don't like hate watchers that like secretly watch and they go back to their friends and be like, fuck this person, I hope they die. You know, I hate that. But the ones that comment on all my videos, I'm okay with because it, it really does help with the algorithm. Um, I hate you so much. I'm going to support your sponsor with your code. <laughs> if they secretly think you're funny and they don't want to admit it. Yeah, like outwardly, they're like, I hate Alex. She's so awful. Remember, see that joke? I didn't laugh. <laughs> But really, they're saying, like, that's so fucking funny, bro. I got you. You know what? From now on, every time I see somebody hate comment, I'm just going to pretend that they're doing it to show off to their friends, but they secretly sit at home with, like, their Alex pillow and all their stickers and their Alex merch. And they're just like, oh, I love this. I'm so excited that she's live. <laughs> Is that Trisha Paytas' whole career? <laughs> Stop. Um, who does that? I mainly watch horror streams because I'm too much of a pussy to play them. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we have another horror stream coming up in 200 subs or so. Uh, well, if you guys want to do horror or cup, where it, it can depends. we get some ugly um, hats? Uh, you can't. You cannot get them anymore. Um, hopefully we'll do something. I don't know. I love my ugly bucket though. I love. I love the hats. That's my claim to fame. The you suck and the bucket hat. Uh, the ugly bucket hat. <laughs> also, people know that only comments that get to the creators are the ones that piss them off. The only comments that get to the creators are the ones that piss them off. That's not true at all. It's not true at all, bro. I read the comments only because there's so many really nice ones. Genuinely. I don't get a lot of hate comments. Horror. Exactly. I'm a horror. I'm a horror, a horror streamer. A horror for horror. Is that, just kidding. I fucking hate horror. I'm so excited to get my Pokemon cards. Yay! I'm so excited for you too. Uh, This comment will get to you. You're cool. That's just a lie. Well, off to give a bad comment. Fuck off. No. Uh, Alex LSF drama thread when? One day. One day. You gotta be, you know, people have to know who you are to be able to get on live stream fails. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get some Twinkies for the womb. Okay, skunk. Okay, don't even. Okay, don't even. Thanks a lot. Can't stop playing Disney Dream of Valley still. Ah! I fell off, but I fell off, but I think I'm like level 20. I've gotten pretty far and then I fell off, but I, I, I'm gonna play it again. I need to play it. Pokemans? Do some Pokemans. Um, I was at the office all day yesterday, rearranging the entire place. Ash and I, like, <laughs> we moved everything around. We're trying to make more room for storage, and it was just a whole thing. Got to go to Ikea. It was great. Love it. Office stream. Um, as soon as the Johto pins come in. I do want to do an office stream soon, though. I really do. I kind of want to do... Uh, a pack opening stream. There's a new there's a new uh, set that just came out, isn't there? Maybe I can grab a hold on. Maybe I can get a What's the new set? Didn't it just come out? Let me, let me message Dan. Let me let me let me message Top Cut Central Dan. If you haven't already, go to topcutcentral.com and use code Alex L L U X for five percent off your order. Works on pre-orders too. Hey, can I get a case of whatever the new set is? One just came out, right? I'm pretty sure it just came out, like, this week. I miss the mini brand streams. Ah! I know, they're fun, aren't they? I I do I do want to do another, um... It's just they weren't popular. They started they started dwindling a lot on YouTube, so I was like, eh. They just, they lost the viewership. Can I ask you a question about girls? 
Wow, women specifically? Um, you can ask me a question about women, but not girls. How's that? Does that sound good? What's your question, OG 10 speed? I hate this because you're, you're a half a year sub, so. I don't know, whammin. Sounds illegal, but okay. <laughs> I hate that. I bought a mini brand ball and a drunk friend opened one of the mini mac and cheese because they thought it would have something in it. Stop. Hi, Alex. Hi, Black Dynamite! Isn't that a movie? 6 9 Can you show us how you display all your blind box finds? Uh, it's back here. It's back here, there, back there. You know? Uh, Don't mix fruit punch, milk, and seltzer. Okay. Is calling a woman high maintenance an insult? Yes. Because, um, especially if somebody is high maintenance, they'll be like, what do you mean? I'm not high ma maintenance. What do you mean? Some people will say, like, more chill people will be like, yeah, I'm high maintenance. But if you call me high maintenance, it comes across as, like, an insult. Like, you're too much. Like, like you, you require a lot. Like... Some people might just take it as it is, but there definitely would never be something other than just like... It would never be a compliment. It's low-key calling somebody needy. Yeah, kinda. Context is a point. Is important, but okay, fair. I'm probs high maintenance. <laughs> See, like people can self-label themselves high maintenance, but then when other people do it, people are still like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I can say it. I can say it. But, you know, if you say it, it's kind of weird, you know? What if they're really good at maintaining their high? Because then they would have good high maintenance, though. Or great high maintenance. And that sounds like more of a compliment, you know what I mean? If they're high maintenance, don't tell them. Because usually if they're high maintenance, then they might be a little stuck up, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm high maintenance, but I'm also really not. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to an event, I get really, like, anxious about not looking like on par but then being like casual i'm pretty good at it just, uh. but i am high maintenance i have terrible high maintenance i get too high and fall asleep yeah that's fair i am needy baby funny but not like funny haha -ha. funny weird is wobby high maintenance no not at all uh it's usually used as an insult but we are allowed to have self-care and do things nice for ourselves and look nice exactly high five for people 30 and over that includes you I feel attacked. I feel so attacked by that. Like, like, see, this is what I mean. You could, you could label people what they are, but sometimes it just sounds like an insult. Like, like, haha, you're over 30. High five. And I'm sitting here like, no, I'm not excited about the high five. Why, why you gotta sit here and call me out for my, uh, why you gotta, why you gotta label me like that? Why can't we, can't we, why can't we say under 40 gang? Woo! Under 35 gang? Woo! You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah. Half full, half, you know, half empty. I'll take a high five. It's only downhill from here. No, Solstice, stop. I thought high maintenance meant that you needed surgery. Og frogs in chat. 38. Hold on, hold on. Kalu, 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 Luke. What does that mean? <laughs> You're so high maintenance. You need surgery. What does that mean? I require literal maintenance. I need a high amount of maintenance. Oh, I see where you're getting it from. <laughs> I got brittle bones. I need some high maintenance on them shits, you know? My my cholesterol needs some high maintenance. I can't. Not dead, gang. Woo -woo. Surgery is high maintenance. Like, don't be a pussy, you know? <laughs> My blood is made of fire. I don't think your veins would hold fire. You know, I think that's just a lie. Yo, my kid is sick as fuck. So high maintenance. <laughs> I hate that. Okay, let's just listen. That's what I call high maintenance. <coughs> oh no! <sighs> now it's 
the stream. Ugh. You're like the Willy Wonka of we know. No, no, no. Okay, wait, Macau, can you please <coughs> play the sound that Willy Wonka plays on his little flute in the video before I get high? That'd be great. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'll bet you let's go. Witness me. I am chrome and shiny. Why are you chrome and shiny? Witness me. Ayo, I am chrome what and up? Shiny. Metalhead. Ayo. Ayo. I got high for the first time. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> It was easily confused by everything. I was I was easily confused by everything. I am so confused by everything right now. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to leave. Damn my high maintenance body, I can't. Thanks for answering my dumb question. I'm 30. Oh no, no. Did you call? Listen, did you call someone high maintenance and they didn't take it well? Is that what happened? You could you could be you could be honest with me. You could be honest with me. I like being high. It makes my brain feel good. Listen, there's this, like, I've talked about this before. Uh, Andrea Botez. Oh, Andrea Botez. You called Andrea high maintenance? No. No. She just looks good. You know, you know what I'm saying? Slows me down, helps me relax. I was confused, but I felt uh smooth. Listen, I like high in the moment. The longer it goes, the more I'm like, no, no. Especially... If I smoke any time in the evening, even if I, I smoke at all today, tomorrow I wake up so exhausted and like it's called a weed hangover, which I, I guess it's a thing that happens. I don't know if it's an age thing that that hits me now or I just never realized that that was an actual thing. So I'm always like, I'm so tired the next day, but it's actually a real thing. If you look it up, you get to get weed hangovers. I never had one. When I wake up the next day, I'm like, man, I'm so fucking tired today. And I realized, oh, it's every time. I'm like, I thought I had something wrong with me. I'm like, why am I so lethargic? I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, I need so much more sleep. And it's, um, it ends up lining up every time I smoke weed the day before. Most people never stop smoking to experience it. Okay. Urang. It's, it's in the pot fucking with your REM sleep. Yeah, fair. That's fair. That's fair. That sucks, bro. Getting high with Alex on my birthday. Happy birthday, Spoonie. Happy birthday. It's your birthday, Spoonie. Happy Spoonie birthday. I also snack a lot of I smoke, which causes that. Yeah. That's actually how I found out that I was that it was the weed that was causing me to be so exhausted. Because um I was really trying to not snack on the couch anymore. And that's normally when I would smoke and watch something with Wubby. And I would snack and I'm like, okay, I I can't be smoking at night. Because it makes me too snacky. So I'm like, okay, no more smoking at night. And then I'm like, Oh shit! I'm like, I feel like I'm energetic in the morning all of a sudden. Happy birthday to you. You smell like a monkey and look like one too. The munchies didn't be in, yeah. I think you're just dehydrated in the morning. I'm that too. You unlocked a core memory of my parents buying me a fucking CD of people singing happy birthday in different ways with my name thrown in. That's that's cute. That's effort, you know? It's that that's you know, am I weird? I don't get the munchies at all when I'm high. Like you don't get you don't you're not hungry? You don't get snagged. You're like, I'm not hungry. <laughs> not April 11th. Ah, this guy knows. Nope. Not at all. Well, sheesh. Damn, that's lucky. Depends on the strains. Fair. Munchies are a curse. Yeah. I smoke too much now. <laughs> a lot of people just having self-realizations in chat today. We're doing interesting as fuck today, by the way. We should be. But I kind of am just vibing right now. Do we have any more? I I've never done like a... Dear Alex, but hi. Can we like do that right now? Let's see if it works. If it works, we'll continue. If not, because I like I like that we're answering some. You know, what what are some relationship type questions that you have that you want to know about? You know, I'm fucking so high, so it's not gonna be great. Or just questions in general. What kind of questions y'all have about the world and the universe? About something you might not know. Zooted. Yeah, weird makes you feel more awkward than normal. Yeah. Where is my dad? Nobody can answer that question, Jester. Like, come on. Let's, 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 let's try with some answerable questions, you know? Uh, are you excited for the new story of seasons? What is that? What story of seasons? Alex, why don't feet get fat? That's a great question, Have Razor Blade. Apparently some people do, and it's Canada? awful. Have I seen what in Canada? Have you seen Last One Laugh in Canada? No, I haven't. 
Dear Alex, I don't have a real question. I just wonder if you laughed so long while high you feared you won't be able to catch your breath. Yes, I've done that on stream. So is Wubby. It's like, oh my God, I can't breathe and I'm not getting enough oxygen, but I can't stop laughing, you know? But then it kind of makes you stop laughing when you think you're going to die. You know? Uh, wait, they're real remaking A Wonderful Life. Dear Alex, do aliens exist? Probably. Like, honestly, probably. There's so much fucking planets. How is, like, you know, there's so much shit out there. <sighs> How long have you sounded like a tea kettle when laughing? Since I became a streamer. My laugh used to be different. Like, real talk, you guys want to, you want to, you want a real answer to that? Before I started streaming, I wasn't as jumpy. I had a different laugh and I talked way different. And I didn't purposely change myself for the stream. But when you're, you become a streamer, everything you have to be more reactionary to. And since I started being more reactionary, I eventually am just became more reactionary in life. Just kind of happens. Real talk, babe. Real talk. Uh, do streams help your speech? Yes. Ish. Sort of. I've realized that I've uh, gotten better at reading because of all the, am I the asshole? Like I can, I, I've always been able to read obviously, but like not stumbling over my words and not speaking way too fast when reading something was always an issue I've had. I still do it. You all see it. Y'all have seen the goddamn stream. I speak a mile a minute sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? It's the XQC in me, you know? But uh, yeah, I have realized that I, I, it's become a lot easier reading uh, am I the asshole posts and like scripts to cup of thing. Uh, new here, when did you become a streamer? Five years ago? Hold on. Uh, hi. I can check by doing this. Uh, this account was created the 4th of January, 2017. And I believe my first stream, uh, was in February. I think it might have been on Valentine's Day. I can't remember. But yeah, I started in 2017. So a long time. Do you speak French? I used to speak it better. But not really anymore. I have a lot of French family. I have Quebecois family, and then I also have uh, Parisian family. So some from uh, France and some from Quebec. So I, when I used to go on trips with them when I was younger, I would always have to do, um, like, first of all, I was in French immersion most of my life for schooling. But on top of that, I'd have, like, the CDs, like the Rosetta Stone type stuff that I'd have to listen to CDs over and over and, like, learn a bunch of stuff before I'd go on vacation with them. Because, um... A lot of them, listen, my aunt is a lovely lady. My cousins watch the stream. My aunt is a lovely lady, but she is Quebecois French. And sometimes uh, she can be a stuck up bitch. Um, so when I was younger, she hated when my cousins spoke English to me. She didn't like my cousins and speaking too much English. So I had to learn a lot of French to be able to talk to them because they would take all of the cousins on uh, on a trip. Well, <laughs> I think I only went to one of them, but every once in a while they would take all the cousins on a trip and I would go and all of them were like 90, 90% of them maybe only speak. Dreams. Love you seven months. Hey, happy seven months. They sp spoke majority uh, French and my parents weren't with me. So I would have to kind of figure shit out, you know? Why are French people always so stuck up? I don't know. Because they're better than us. Is what they think, you know? When did you move to San Diego? Um, we're on TwitchCon. 2019. Did you have a muzzy growing up? What the fuck's a muzzy? Like a muzzy stash, bro? What the fuck's a muzzy? <laughs> so muzzy. Do you have a useless talent? I'm really good at room escape games. I'm really good at room escape. And I really want to do more room escape stuff. Okay, listen, listen. Guilty pleasure. I've been watching the shit out of. Oh my god, what's his name? Name Chris. Who's the puzzle box guy? Who's the puzzle guy? But who's the puzzle box guy on YouTube? What's his name? Chris Ramsey. Chris Ramsey. Chris Ramsey. Right? Okay, I got it right before you guys said it. Chris Ramsey. Um, I have like such a guilty pleasure watching his stuff, but I refuse to watch anything. This is so stupid. I will watch him, but I will only watch the videos now that are custom made for him. Because I keep telling myself, I'm going to buy some puzzle boxes and I'm going to do them on stream. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do some YouTube videos. And I keep telling myself that. 
So I'm like locking myself off of 50% of his content because I refuse to watch anything that I could just buy. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's fucking stupid. Are you hate watching him? No, I love it. I love him. I love how 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 much he puts into his intros. It's so funny to me. Like he'll do like a whole cinematic fully shot intro for like the silliest puzzle box. It's just like he'll do this whole thing. He'll go off. Do I'm for the PO box? Fuck yeah. Hey, listen, you guys send me some crazy ass puzzle boxes. I'll do them. Like I love room escapes and shit like that. And like room escape in a box that I can open on stream. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? A French exchange student worked at my lab in college. One time we went downtown together and when they saw the subway, they went, wow, it's like being back in the 50s. What does that even mean? Have you played Escape Academy? I dropped a stizzy. I dropped my stizzy. E. E. What's your most cringe teen memory that you feel comfortable sharing? Oh, fuck. I don't know. That's really hard. I'm like, I'll tell you a memory that I still haven't forgot. <laughs> Listen, this is like root of my anxiety. Okay, you guys ready for this? Do you know when people say like something really bad happens or you do something really embarrassing and people will be like, nobody will remember this. Like everyone will forget about this. You're the only one that's thinking about it this much. They're lying to you. They are lying to you. I, always, I would always be told that. I'm like, I don't believe you. Do you know why I know that? I still remember in seventh grade, uh, personal life management class, a girl threw up all over her desk. And I still remember that. I never forgot. Also the fart girl. I have, I have brought up the fart girl too. When she coughed and farted in silent reading. That was very embarrassing for her. Sarah. Yep. See? See? See, do you remember her though? That's actually true. I don't remember. I know what she looks like. I don't remember the, the name of the girl that threw up, but that's because um, the person I managed throws up guess she didn't pass uh, because I didn't know her. She was just in my class. Yeah. I once farted on a roommate's door. My best friend in second grade threw up in my lap. See, and you still remember that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the quality of your character don't mean shit when you fart in class. It's so true. Damn, that's rough. But right, so I was literally telling what be that I'm like, one of my biggest fears is like throwing up in public in front of people um, because it happened to me once when I was younger. And um, actually that's a pretty cringy story. I could tell you guys that one. Um, and that like solidified in me, like my biggest fear. I'm like, I never forgot about it. I never forgot about it. And Wubby's like, that's probably why you never forgot because these are like insecurities that you have. So now you just latched onto the ones that happened to other people. I'm like, fair, fair. Um, I still remember the fart boy from fifth grade who let one rip during silent reading and then immediately claimed ownership. He, he let one rip and he's like, that was me. That's kind of badass though. I threw up after biscuits and gravy when our class was making stamps in fourth grade. No. Biscuits and gravy slap though. Like actual biscuits and gravy, like with like the like the white gravy. Ooh. Ooh. Tennessee sausage. Ooh. Yeah. Uh my most embarrassing moment has to do with throwing up in front of people. Yeah, same. I'll 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 tell you that in a second. Have you ever been offered a good opportunity but refused? Um, yes, actually. Um, a while back. I don't remember if I told you guys this, but um, I was trying to get a job with, uh, was it Streamlabs or Stream Elements? Stream Elements. Stream Elements. Stream Elements. Stream Elements. Um, and they offered me, I, I went through, it was three interview process. I don't know why, but it was multiple interview process. And I got offered the job. Uh, it was full time, but, uh, yeah, I refused it because I would have had to cut back too much on streaming. And uh, I'm glad I did though, because <laughs> I do so much more now and I wouldn't have had time to start any of the businesses or opportunities that I have now. So I got my gallbladder removed last December and my friends and I were waiting in line at a drive-thru and I got a sudden and insane urge to shit. So I had to sprint across the street, which was a four lane intersection, got pulled over by a cop who told me that, that was really stupid. I was like, bro, I'm sorry. I just really need to poop. That sucks. That sucks. I threw up in a swimming pool straight into the filter system, but shut down the pool for the rest of the day. Damn. 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 I'm known in my friend group as a puker. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. See, this is, this is, so my story is, um, 
I was meeting my boyfriend at the time's friends group for the first time. Um, and they were all a little bit older than me. I think I was in grade 10 and they were in grade 12. I think, I think we were two years apart. I can't remember. But they were all older than me and cooler than me. You know what I mean? So I'm meeting. We just had started dating not that long before this. And um, <clears throat> at the time, I smoked, I smoked the ganja. But like, you know, I, I smoked the weed a little bit. But not really. Like I did, but I didn't. Um, but all of his buddies were all like uh, huge pot smokers. So we went over to the house and we're all sitting in the basement and everyone's smoking and chilling. And um, what had happened is their septic tank blew. They were like more in like a farmish area, their septic tank blew. And I shit you not, there was their parents going up and down from the basement upstairs with buckets of shit water. Like trash bands, trash bin sized buckets of shit water just up, down, up, down. So the toilet in the bathroom just completely couldn't use it. And I remember we were smoking and all of a sudden, so we're all sitting there smoking and we're all hanging out and I'm like, oh, I'm really fucking high. Then out of nowhere, I start feeling really nauseous. <clears throat> I start feeling really nauseous and I'm sitting there panicking and it's making it worse so i start having a panic attack i'm sitting there silently just very very uncomfortably high having a panic attack feeling very nauseous in front of all of my older peers meeting them for the first time and i'm sitting there panicking and i'm thinking okay i can't run to the bathroom so what do i do and i'm like i don't know what to do so i'm like Oh, I got a phone call! Like, really awkwardly. I got a phone call! My phone didn't ring. Walk up the stairs, walk outside, walk out front. And I'm pacing back and forth with my phone outside in front of this person's house. Panicking. And I'm like, okay. So I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm not throwing up. I'm okay. I'm just panicking. I'm making a big deal. It's fine. So I'm like, okay. I go back downstairs. I'm like, I can't be gone too long. Because they're going to be like, what the fuck? So I come back down. I sit down. Instantly feel like I'm going to vomit. And I'm like, okay. It's fine. So all of a sudden I hear, Alex, are you okay? And I realize that everyone's staring at me and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Apparently I had turned like white, like completely white. They're like, oh, okay. Just making sure you got really quiet and you're looking so pale. I'm like, oh, haha. -ha. And I'm sitting next to my boyfriend and I'm just like, <sighs> and I'm like, oh God, here it comes. Oh God, here it comes. I'm gonna throw up. And they look at me like, do you need a bucket? I'm like, no, 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 I'm okay. What? So I lean on my boyfriend, like kind of behind his back. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. And all of a sudden, do you know the noise you make when you dry heave? Just, and you're trying to not. So I just loudly, no vomit, dry heave. And he pushes me back. And I'm like, I sit there and they're like, do you want a bucket? I'm like, no, I'm good now. I'm good now, I'm good now, I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden I'm like, give me the bucket, give me the bucket. And in front of everybody, I just start vomiting into this trash can in front of everybody. What did I walk into? So, uh, r and -R. yeah. So I threw up in front of everybody. And I was just sitting there and I'm like, great. So now I just had to sit there awkwardly and they all started talking and uh, I completely greened out. So I passed out. I fell asleep on the couch. So at that point I was just, you know, my boyfriend's young girlfriend that just threw up and passed out after trying to smoke with them. And then after that, um, I went home expecting to never speak to this person again. Cause like I said, we just had started dating. I'm like, well, I ruined it. I ruined it. Never speaking to the member again. Um, and they called me the next day and they're like, hey, how you doing, pukey? I wanted to fucking kill myself. Wanted to fucking kill myself. Yeah, at least it was on the floor. Yeah. How you doing, pukey? I remember that to this day. Awful. Yep. So that is my most traumatic story from that era, you know? Um, for a long time, I could not do anything or go anywhere out of fear of vomiting in public. Yep. Like, it fucked me up for a long time. It gave me such bad anxiety. I'm like, I'm gonna throw up in public. I remember, um, I wouldn't take a bus anymore. I couldn't take the bus. 
I couldn't do anything like that. And I remember when I finally tried to overcome it. Um, do you guys know the show So You Think You Can Dance? I love this show. I love this show. And um, Gothi Foxy, thank you for the five. Um, I don't remember what club I was a part of or why I was able to go, but um, I was able to go to a live taping with a bunch of people in my class, but we had to take a bus there. We had to take a bus there. And um, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. And I remember I did it as soon as I sat in the front seat of the bus. I had to sit in the very front because I was like scared I was going to vomit. The entire time from when we got on the bus to when we got there, about an hour and a bit drive, I enough for King I Charles. was having a panic attack that I was about to throw up. The entire time. I did it every time I got on a bus. And I got there and, it's, and for the longest time, anytime I get into an event, I was like, I need to see where the bathroom is or else I'll be anxious. I need to be close and see a bathroom or else I can't do it. I just can't do it. I had a panic attack while driving once and for quite a while after I would start panicking about potentially panicking again. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Akuma, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. And Gothi Fox, thank you for the five. I appreciate you. Um, It's called emetophobia. Is that is that scary, scary worried of throwing up? Um, I once did 13 shots in one night, then threw up on the floor on my bed. I went to sleep and stepped on it in the morning. Oh, that's awful. Yup. Yeah, I had that for a very long time. I'm over it now. Now that I'm older, I'm like, bro, if I throw up, I throw up. Like, it's like, once you're an adult, you're like, yeah, it doesn't, it's not the same as when you're young, you know? Alex, same, had to shit on a date. Then my brain was never the same about using the bathroom in public ever again. Yeah, it's like, you get like hella trauma anxiety. I had it so bad when I was taking the train to school, had a major anxiety one day when I almost couldn't breathe. I feel that. When I would take the train, I would sit right next to the bathroom. So I didn't have to figure out which cart it was in or have to think about leaving the cart. So I would only, I would uh, make sure I was always sitting next to a bathroom. I had that about flights for a while. I was anxious I was going to get anxious when the seatbelt sign was on and I couldn't go to the bathroom to throw up. I would get that every once in a while, ta uh, Tom. Every once in a while, I would sit like... I haven't had I anxiety in a on a flight in a long got time. In trouble because he was reading Fifty Shades of Grey but disguised it with a Harry Potter book sleeve. He's in seminary now. What does that mean? Stop. I, I hate that tweet. I think it was the five months. But yeah, for a little while, I would get on the plane. And that, that moment of when they closed the doors until when the seatbelt sign turned on where I could use the bathroom if I potentially had to, I would have that same throw up anxiety. Just like... But yeah, I don't know why vomiting is so traumatic. But yeah, the older you get, you're like, okay, it's fine. Um, anxiety and panic f fucking sucks. Glad you're doing better. Yeah, I, I I live with it. It's a daily struggle. I vomited on my uh, my opponent's hand in the middle of a 500 person rock paper scissors. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yep. One time, me and my buddies left high school during lunch to get McDonald's and smoke. And while we were in the drive-thru, I had intense green sickness. And they all got me out of the car as if I got out of a straight-up Godzilla beamed vomit right into the bush. See, that's the worst when you throw up and everyone's like, get away from me. It's like, but I'm sick. Like, that's so sad. Like, when you're when you're a kid, people are just like, get away, ew. And you're like, but I'm sick, please. <laughs> it's so sad when you think about it. You know? Puke beaks wrong. It's such a Sega Ray! Thank you for the 10. I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you. You're you're literally funding this whole stream one sub at a time. Um coughed too hard and threw up. Yep, yep. I'm a motorcycle. There was no bathroom for me. What? What? Uh dear Alex, if you had a time machine, would you go forward or backwards in time? Oh. I'd be too scared to either, honestly. I don't know. I guess backwards because you can become rich. You know? I get scared about other people throwing up and can't be around it. Some got over it as an adult. Oh, really? You just don't want to be around people if they throw up? Wait, forward to become rich now. No, you go backwards, but you learn the lottery numbers now and then you go backwards and then you win all the lotteries, you know? Forward, you can also become rich. Just invest before you leave true that's fair that's fair but what if you're wrong you wouldn't you, how would you know for sure you know people throwing up equals funniest shit in the world to me me throwing up nope 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 see i refuse to throw up even when i'm drunk i hate throwing up i hate throwing up hi internet mom hello i don't know i like it when people keep a certain distance from me i'm not gaslighting anything i'm just not a social person that's fair that's fair some people just aren't social 
Or they haven't done it, so they're uncomfortable with it. That's something that you can maybe become more comfortable with, too. Especially if you always have pushed people away from you. It's kind of hard to get to the point where you want to be around a lot of people. You know? Like, I have times in my life where I was a very social butterfly, and I only wanted to be around people. And then I've had times in my life where I'm like, I don't want to see or be around anybody. I throw up all day the day after drinking. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. I refuse to throw up night of. Um, see, my main thing is when I'm when I'm drinking, I'll normally eat shitty food. I refuse to, to throw up food. I've talked about this before. I refuse to throw up food. So I will end up throwing up the whole next day. Every 30 minutes. For hours the next day. My friends would pull the trigger when they're too drunk and I just keep drinking. It's like always gross me out. It has it doesn't gross me out. I like am jealous of people that can just pull the trigger. Like, ah, I feel kind of sick. I drank too much. I'm gonna go throw up and then we can keep drinking. I wish I could do that. Are you kidding me? If I throw up, it's it's it. That's it's all over. It's all over. I'm done. Don't talk to me. I'm going to bed after this. Don't look at me, you know? It's definitely better to, to puke than I before. I'm a boot and rally type. Yeah, it is better technically, but I can't do it. Oh, no puke and rally. Ooh. Ugh, y'all are gonna make me throw up on stream. Puke stream? Too much. I'm too high for this shit. Y'all are making me relive high school all over again. Uh, popsicles taste the exact same going out as they did when you ate them. Wish I didn't read that one. Yeah. Yeah. People pay good money for that. That's true. I hate that. I hate all of it. Um, what what else? What were we talking about? Let's the next question. Next question. Next question. Sounds like a bargain. <laughs> I can't. No more puke. I scream when I throw up to disguise the vomit sound. That's awful. I hate that. Uh, food, bro. Food's so good though. Can we talk about? <clears throat> listen, listen. I fucking hate the gym. So I really was struggling to go. And I found a new workout routine that I'm really enjoying. And I want to share it with y'all just in case anybody is like me. Have you ever gotten high and then looked at interesting as fuck Reddit posts? No, never. Never in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, wouldn't screaming just like spray it everywhere? Oh, I can't. Please, I need motivation to work out. So I fucking hate the gym. Every aspect of the gym, I do not like. Hold on. First of all, I find it very boring, which is fair. A lot of people find it boring. Fine, whatever. I don't like working out in front of people. So that's also just not, I don't like it. Especially because if I go, I don't want to work out really hard because I feel like I look stupid. So I hate that too. I also hate that you have to go to the gym and then come back from the gym. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate that there is distance between me and the gym. It's like, okay, I'm motivated. I'm motivated right now. I'm not, I'm not motivated in 20 minutes once I get there. So... Um, I've talked about my mom before, uh, and how she recently lost a bunch of weight. She lost, like, over 100 pounds, and she's lost a lot of weight. And I was like, okay. She keeps being like, just try this thing. Just try this thing. You'd like it. Like, I promise. I'm like, uh, I don't want to. Because it's coming for your mom, right? So you're like, stop. Okay, stop. Um, did I have I not shown you guys a picture of my mom? Pretty sure I've shown it you guys before, but I'll show you guys anyway. But yeah, she recently, uh, lost a bunch of weight. Uh, where do I view all photos? No, that's not what I meant to do. I just archived our messages. How do I unarchive it? Oh, archived. Un. How do I unarchive you? Unarchive. There we go. Uh, okay. Let me just scroll up. It used to be you can click somewhere and then it would show you all the old pictures. Uh. Here we go. Um. So this is what my mom was. She was quite a big lady. Um, and then recently, this is what she looks like now. Well, I guess you can see both. She lost a shit ton of weight. She lost a shit ton of weight. Sheesh. Yeah, she lost a lot of weight. So she kept being like, let me show you. And I'm like, Ugh, no, no, no. Because it's your mom, right? So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll try it. So it's a VR program. Good honor. I'm only four days in. So let's take it with a grain of salt. You know, take it with a grain of salt. I'm really fucking sore, so it's been working at least. Um, yeah, your mom. Um, so it's it's supernatural. That's the one. That's the one. So I started supernatural, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And I haven't been dripping sweat uh, like that in a very long time. Because when I go at the gym, I'm like too 
anxious to like go that hard. But when I'm at the comfort of my home, the door closed and nobody can see me, I'm like, I'm going. And I know that the coaches are so fucking cheesy, but they say shit like, I remember the other night she was going, she goes, um, put, she was like telling you to push and she goes, uh, uh, um, show me that excitement of finally finding a program that you like and that's working for you. And I was like, sheesh, okay. But they say things that are like kind of gets you, even though it's like super cheese bag. And you're like, look at this guy. It's so fucking dumb. So cringe. But then it kind of still gets you a little bit. So true. Oh, yeah, you do it. Yep. Yep. So, um, yeah, I've been doing that. So if anybody wants to try something that might, might motivate them, um, Supernatural, it's like a um, it's kind of like Beat Saber, but it's like a full body. They do boxing and then they do a flow, which is more like Beat Saber, but with like squats. Bro. My legs and my ass hurt so fucking much. The boxing is rough. Bro, the boxing the other night, I did uh, did a full boxing one after a full flow one. It was so bad. I can't. Uh, My abs and butt have never been better. Get in. Get in. It's DDR for me. I used to love DDR. Uh, so you need an Oculus? Yeah, you would need an Oculus for it. Um, But it works on the quest. Um, I love Ring Fit Adventure right now. See, a lot of people like that too. Um, thanks for the recommendation. That looks so cool. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I hope somebody tries it and they like it um, because it, I've been really enjoying it. It makes me excited to do it. I was actually upset yesterday because I was so sore that I had to take it really easy. So they have like um, really low intensity and mild like and then mid intensity and then in high intensity. And I normally do high intensity. But last night I'm like, I have to do really low intensity and keep really low power and energy because I don't want to like hurt myself. So I'm like, I have to wait until I'm not as sore. But I really want to like I'm still sore today, but I still really want to do boxing. Um... But yeah, have you tried Sith Riders? Synth Riders? I haven't. But it, like, let me let me be clear though. This isn't like a game. Like there's full on coaches. They get you to do a warm up and a cool down before it. Um, each playlist is usually around 20 minutes. So if you just want like a really short workout, you can just do one playlist. It's usually like five songs and you can usually pick what kind of songs you like. So it's like, you're just like listening to like five songs and it's like, oh shit. So it is a game, but it's like, is an actual workout program. It's not like me telling you to go use Beat Saber as your workout. Like it actually is like a hybrid and it tracks a bunch of your stats and like it can show you each day that you did it and how many um, minutes or hours you've done that week. How do you keep your head from getting super sweaty? I sweat a lot. Uh, I don't. So I put the, pl I, I put like the rubber piece over the, the foam piece and I, j I just get really sweaty and I try to wipe it off between, uh, between songs. That's the best you can do. Um, is it a monthly payment? It is. So that's the one downside. It is kind of expensive. Um, you get a, a free week trial when you sign up. But if you want to do monthly, it's like $18.99 a month. But if you're a gym membership is more than that. So that's the way I look at it. Or it's like $183 for a year. But yeah. What program is this? Supernatural on uh, uh, Oculus. There's a third party weights for the controller and mask that breathes better. Kiwi is one of the bigger brands. Ooh, that's cool. He was one of the bigger brands that, uh, okay. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. Um, I'm interested. I have a hard time working out outside of running because it's boring. Yeah, I get really bored. So then I only want ever want to be on the treadmill or the elliptical because it has Netflix. So I just sit there and I watch movies. I, wa I watch shows and I just, I can't get back into it. I was really into it when we first started going and I was good for a while. And then I fell off and trying to get back into it. I'm just like, I fucking hate it. I can't, I just can't. Um, like I know that some people can get really passionate about li uh, lifting weights and stuff and I just I'm just not one of those people I prefer the treadmill because it makes me keep pace fair fair But uh, yeah, I'll do like an hour of cardio and I'm like I can't Damn Alex really fell off. Nah, that's true. That's true. What can I say? Uh, you watching Cobra Kai? No, I've never seen it. I started I started trying to watch um B and dog cat cat dog. What's his name? B and dog cat. What's his name? It's been three years. My husband still hasn't canceled our gym membership. Oh, and Puppy Cat. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen Minx had a cool interactive punching thing that lit up and played music. It was expensive, like 2K. Yeah, fuck all that. I've looked at those two, the ones that all on Instagram that it's like a big, like, monitor and it like has somebody that comes and like talks to you and shit. Yeah, honestly, I get way better workout doing Supernatural than anything else. Yeah, it's because it motivates me. That's what I'm motivated by. I'm, I'm very, I'm a very, very visual person. So it's, it really helps me mo motivate and it really, it's, it's really easy. It's really fun to do. Honestly, I look forward to it every night. Whereas I've never had that feeling with the gym.
Me too. I want to win, right? I'm like, what do you mean? My power wasn't 100%. It shows you a breakdown of like um, your accuracy, uh, your power, and something else. But it shows you how much you're using. Yep. Big same. I'm so excited it's working for you too. Oh, so you've been using it, Widget? And it's working for you? That's awesome. Listen to Critical Role while working out. Nearly dropped the weight from laughing. Hell yeah. That's funny. Uh, I walk five miles a day at my job. I lost 15 pounds. That's awesome. Is music a must for your workouts? See, what's weird is when I go to the gym, I don't listen to music and I watch shows. But then during Supernatural, the music I, I need, it's really motivating and it goes with everything. Um, Me too, I want to win. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, Okay, so I need to do some interesting as fuck. The only time I was ever in shape was when I was cutting down trees with an axe in a forest. I hate going to the gym more than anything. I might just buy an Oculus for this. Please, like, if you try it, let me know. Let me know you tried it and let me know if you liked it. What are you using to work out? Just got here. Um, Oculus. Supernatural. Personally, time goes slower watching shows than listening to music when working out. Yeah, it goes slower, but I get more invested, so I kind of forget. Because I'm like, okay, I really want to watch the show. I, I, I specifically have shows that I only would watch at the gym. So then I'd be excited to watch the show. You know what I mean? So that worked for a bit, but yeah. I love lifting and yoga. Yeah, I'm, I, I hate stretching. I hate stretching. Smart. Yeah, yeah. 20 months is still here, loving the new content. I appreciate that walking sushi. Okay, we'll do a little bit of interesting as fuck. Let me get a little bit more high. Okay, listen, this could, this could be uh, interesting AF slash something. It's, it's, it's a bit of both, you know? We could, we could, this is, this could all still be in the video. I think we talked about some cool, interesting as fuck shit, you know? Interesting as fuck is the game we're playing. It's not a game. It's a segment. Uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I want to play a game chat. It's called interesting as fuck. She gone. Life is a game. Yeah. Hardest game I ever played. Am I right? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Oh my god. Overwatch is the segment of the day. Is that weed? I'm calling the police. No. I don't do I don't drug do. I don't I don't do the weed. How could you ever? Why would you? How do I stop playing this game? Delete. How do I delete my save file? Oh, that's deep. I don't like that. I'm losing. It's the best it's the best possible and I am losing in the best possible way. That's what all life is, right? Yeah, you know. Oh, also, by the way, by the way, okay, hold on. Let me triple check this. It, I, I I believe there's an announcement tomorrow, a big announcement for me tomorrow, I think. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Let me, let me make sure. Hold on. Oh, God, I'm high. Okay. Tomorrow. Holy fucking shit. I'm not fucking pregnant. That's not the only thing a woman can do. I'm sorry. I lost my cool. I lost my cool. But I'm so fucking sick that every time I say I have an announcement, everyone's like, Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? No, I'm not fucking pregnant! Holy fuck. So over it. So annoying. It's- it, You know that's sexist, right? Y'all know you're sexist, right? I'm over it. I'm over it. Um... But yeah, there's an announcement coming tomorrow. I don't know what time. 
but I'm pretty sure there's a big announcement I'm announcing tomorrow. Just just a heads up. While I'm high, are you sure, Kappa? <sighs> Y'all are fucking annoying. Y'all are gonna make me end stream. Um, Mountain Dew Surge. This is just Mountain Mountain Dew Spark. It's Spark Zero. You know. You know. You know what it is. You know what I'm Do it, pussy. Halumi is pregnant. Yes. Yes, he is a boy. But you know. Did, did I, did, weed makes you pregnant? Weed makes you pregnant? Also super insulting because you're smoking weed. So I guess everyone just thinks you're a shit human. Yeah, what the fuck? Congrats on being a grandmother. <laughs> um, But yeah. Announce it tomorrow. Look out for that. If not, fuck you. Go buy something from the shop or else. Thank you. And good night. Interesting as fuck! Okay, we're doing things. Let me let me open some shit. Let me mute my music. Sometimes these got music, you know? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they got music, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Man, I like the Spark and Major Melon. I think it's my favorite. I like the Spark. I wasn't big on Major... Here's the thing. When I had the Mountain Dew Major Melon, I was like, oh, I don't really like it. Then I had Spark, and I'm like, oh, I really like this one. And then going back to the Major Melon, I'm like, oh, I kind of like this one. It kind of tastes like the Spark. So I don't know what the fuck that's all about, but I initially didn't really like it, but I like it now. What'd you have for dinner tonight? I have not eaten yet. I had... <laughs> I had peanut butter on the... It's green screened out because it's green. I had peanut butter on the end of this plastic knife. I, I There was no more plastic spoons. So I put it on a knife. And that's what I've eaten today. <laughs> it was just a little snack. A little peanut butter snack. I didn't have time before stream. So I just had a little, a little, little snack. You know? You know? Huh. Dinner of champions. Just saying. <laughs> no eggs with the peanut butter? No. Ew. <gasps> Ew. I didn't relate like the spark. It's not objectively bad, just not for me. Yeah, some people don't like the sweeter stuff. I don't think Wubby's big on it either. I like it. Okay. First up. A bam. This dude making music with a bonsai tree. Wait, let me readjust. Let me readjust this window. So it's more like this. Yeah, bro. There we go. More like this. Why you do like this? Uh, Making music with a bonsai tree. What does that mean? Like he's using the bonsai tree? Okay, listen. Do you guys think he's making music using the bonsai tree? Or do you think he's making music with the bonsai tree as like an audience? What do you think? Get your votes in. God, I love plant music TikTok. Using the tree? He's making music for the tree. Okay, 50-50. Oh, God, I can't see. Okay, stop. Okay, hold on. Enough. 
Oh my god. Holy Hannah. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. That made me panic. Tree sounds like hi, Alex laughs. Shut the fuck up, Storkflower. Shut the fuck up. Oh, do I have these paws? I'm so sorry. Let me play these. Well, I guess you should thank you for the 20 months. Thank you for the 23 months. Appreciate you. Courtney Evil, thank you for the 23 months. Gooser, thank you for the six months. Happy, happy year. Rob Boy, Roy Boy, thank you for the four months. I've never had a panic attack. It kind of just builds and nothing happens, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. The build is the, is, the build is the panic attack. It doesn't go anywhere. That's just, it's just the build. The feeling of building. Okay, next up. Doro Dango is a traditional Japanese art in which a ball of mud is rolled and polished until it's smooth and shiny. Joshua, Joshua, Aria, Aria. Joshua, Aria, Aria. I'm, I'm using these. this to ask my question. What's the best part of your week so far? Best part of my week so far? This. Yeah, Bielsa. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, this. I'm gonna move you guys down here with me. So you go right here. Hey, no fucking way. Okay, let me read this again. Doro Dango is a traditional Japanese art in which a ball of mud is rolled and polished until it is smooth and shiny. Someone in chat said, I need someone to polish my balls like that. Shut the fuck up. So you're saying your balls are just a lump of mud? Is that what your balls look like? Is that why you need this? That's rough, homie. That's rough. Also, this is not fucking mud. There's no goddamn way. I hate it. Mr. Mudballs over here. Am I right? <laughs> Eh. Oh, wash your balls, homie. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. We're moving on. In Georgia, why is this all the way? Hold on. Hold on. Why did nobody tell me this is just not in frame? Hello? Hello, chat? Don't think your balls could take that pressure, bruh. It's true. You're going to pop it. You're going to pop a nut. Well, I can see you. Appreciate you. God damn it. Okay. Where, where am I? Who, am, who are you? In Georgia, there's a stray dog who has made it his job to protect this kindergarten class so they can cross the street safely. He shows up every single day, even barking at cars that don't stop. No way. No way. No way. Oh. Oh. Oh, dogs with jobs. He protects the kids. Yo, that dog is a reincarnated kid that got hit by a car. Stop. I'm too high. I will cry. Oh, he pissed. Stop. Stop right now. Don't say shit like that. I can't. The ghost of a crossing guard. They better be paying him. They better be paying him. Okay. <laughs> Make Alex cry speed run 80%. <laughs> I almost didn't go live today. I was very close to not going live today because I was having a bad day. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was this close to canceling. And I was like, no, once I start, I'll feel better. You know what I mean? You just have one of those days. So I'm glad I came. Glad I'm here. Glad I'm high. Yes, I was better now. I'm gonna make myself cry. Uh, 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 um. Next up. My voice is cracking and I'm not even a man. The music, the musical road in Hungary. The musical road. Oh, it's like known like the road. Is it Hungary or Hungary? Isn't it Hungary? Is it always been spelled Hungary? Hungary. Hung, Hungary. Hungary. Yo, Gary be hung. We'll sing to drivers at the right speed. What? Why does nobody else do stuff like this? What's, is that an actual song? Why did it sound so familiar? Imagine it was a Rick Roll. That'd be really fucking funny. Why the US got stuck and never 
have cool stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, why they got suck, bro. California did this, but it eroded away. Actually, though? Canada has those, too, that, to wake you up, though. Yeah, Canada has those, but, like, it's just like a... And that's it. It's like, get the fuck up. That's it. It's not like this. It's not like music making. There's one in America, but they messed up when making it. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Stop. Is there one in Utah that does it? Oh, it was a sick beat. Sick beat, bro. Look at these orchid mantises. Whoa! Those are Pokemon. Don't fucking lie to me. These are Pokemon. Stop. Did anyone know that these existed? Middle one's a shiny. Ah! I have one for the super cool favorite Animal Crossing bug. Oh, is that a thing in Animal Crossing? <laughs> Stop! Are they actually? Y'all so stupid. How male seahorse give birth? Oh, I think I don't know if we've seen this on stream or not, but I, they just like they just sh go. They this feels inappropriate to watch, but it's the beauty of childbirth. They literally come out looking like sperm. Do they not? They they just look like sperm. Fun fact, that's a dude. Yeah, it's a male seahorse. The males give birth. Is that is? Are they the only species? Are they the only? Is there any other scenario where male the male gives birth? Or maybe 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 fish? I don't remember. This feels like the Walders video. Yep, yep. Maybe seahorses are so cute though. They're so little. I think that's the only one. Damn, humans really got the short end of the stick when it comes to mating. <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Let me open up a bunch more before I start this next one. Bro, everybody else high? I'm high. If you're not high, what are you doing? What are you doing, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pretty sure the fish lay eggs, but the male fertilizes them. True. Any gifters? Okay, geek. Drone footage looking down into a volcanic eruption. None of these have had sound. Whoa. Scary? I'm, it's like not scary to me. I don't know. It's so interesting. Whoa. Whoa. Imagine swimming in it. You couldn't, bro. That Meg Mussy. I can't. Volcanusy. When you see the big spurts of orange is where it's like, whoa, fuck. Oh, fuck. Minecraft? Minecraft? Whoa. Yo. That's where it gets a little scary. Why isn't the drone melting? It's probably really far away with a good lens. POV, you're being sacrificed to the gods. True. Fun fact, if you jump into a volcano, you will bounce when you hit the lava. Shut the fuck up. Why do you say stupid shit like that? Water spout in Florida. Guys, good morning. Just stumbled across something. Look at that view. Alex, but it's true. Shut the fuck up. There's no way. That's a big one. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Head east. 38, here it comes. Water spouts are cool. Why is it called a water spout, not just a tornado? Or a hurricane, or whatever. Let's go! It's called laden frost effect or something like that. What, for the bouncing when you hit the lava? That's crazy. I didn't know that. In some bushfires, you can get fire tornadoes and funnels. Once it hits land, it dissipates. Oh, okay. It's only true if lava is a certain kind. Because if it's over water and it pulls up water, is that why? Damn, nature, you scary. Damn, nature, you, you, you strong and shit. 
The smoke of an extinguished candle lights itself again when it comes in contact with fire. Wait, what? The smoke of an extinguished candle lights itself again when it comes in contact with fire. Oh, I see. I was like, the candle relights itself when you put fire on it? Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. Whoa! Alex, can you do me a favor to change your name on all platforms? I keep typing Alex. Well, that's on you, dumbass. That's on you. Again, my name for the people that don't know how to spell it. Think of my name as a sandwich, okay? We got a double, double sandwich. We got double meat, double cheese, okay? The A and the X are the bread, singular bread. We don't want a lot of bread, singular bread. An A and the X, that's your bread. We got that two L's and the two U's. That's your double meat and double cheese. A L L U U X. The sandwich thing actually did finally solidify it for me. Yeah, I had to figure out some way. I've tried to shut it, cut it down, or like find a different name, and it just—it's just there's no other combination. Yeah, yeah. True. Can't have too much bread on the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we don't. Not want that much bread. The interior of a Rolls Royce, 1926. You're stupid. You're stupid. Why you be looking like this? You look stupid. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's dumb. That's Shrek's onion carriage. That's a fucking carriage. That's a fucking carriage, guys. That's a fucking carriage. Shurikini! Thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Thank you guys for the follow. Sosa Mimosa. Thank you for the eight months. Dynamite. Thank you for the 20 months. Dwarflyer. Thank you for the 23 months. Rich people dumb. Yo, that's stupid. But back in the day, they're like, yo, you see my Royce dog? Look at this shit. But the leg room, though, that's actually just so true. Why don't we drive around in cars like this anymore? The leg room is... I can't. Is that a railroad car? Oh! A close-up look at a Longhorn Beetle's face. Oh, his mouth looks like it's sewn shut. Oh my god. Why he look like he got lips? This looks like a man in a mask. This looks like Ant-Man. I hate that. I was fine not looking at this, you know? He's smooch. Why he look like he just got some big smoochy lips? I hate it. Alex, wake up. No, please. Croatian aerial firefighters refilling their planes close to the beach. They're well trained for this and often do it to close when the fire situation is so important that every second matters. Whoa. They just grab the water and go? That's crazy! Water theft. People are just sitting there, just like, hanging out, swimming. What if a person was there? That's crazy. They can scoop the people? Yeah, like, what the f- Like, how- that's that's dangerous. That's dangerous. But hey, when every second counts, though, that's crazy, though. That's stupid. That's stupid dangerous. Okay, next up. That's why it's like fenced off. Oh, is that why? I scoop up a guy in an episode of CSI. Shut the fuck up, 1044. That's that's so dumb. I can't. Croatia is awesome. It was a nude beach. No, it wasn't. The Great North Dakota Blizzard of 1966. Oh my god! That is... Oh my god! That's crazy. That's so much snow. It's the wire, pussy. That's the first thing I thought of. I was like, oh my god. So many people probably grabbed the wires and died. Dude, where's my house? But like, actually though, that's crazy. I've never seen that much snow. Drone proposal. R. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Yo, that's crazy. 
That's a skinny finger. That is a skinny finger. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, she said no. Well, ring's too big. <laughs> That's what I have to compete with? I'm dying alone. Man, some people don't care about the proposal. Some people do. I'm like so over the top. I'm like, if everyone, anyone ever proposes to me, I want to be fucking big. You know what I mean? But I would never be disappointed in one though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would like to be big, but as long as someone tries, that's all I would care about. Some people would have hated it. Show your finger. Huh? You're married though. Y'all so stupid. Y'all so stupid and ugly. Stupid and ugly. How to survive falling through ice. Or sound. This is the cold shock response. Which can really get mitigated if you just relax. Okay. So you try to. Oh my god, that's scary. Realize it's going to pass. Okay. After it passes, you'll be able to do the second part of your self rescue. He's just sitting in there in that ice water. Sp Spread my arms out. Okay, he's, he's survived. How to survive falling through ice. Don't walk on ice. Got it. Now, instead of trying to pull myself straight up, I'm going to start to kick my feet and raise them up behind me. Oh. Oh, you try to, like, slide across it? Oh, that's smart. And then kick. This isn't something I need to know anymore. I'm not in Canada, but this is actually very interesting. This could save a life chat. You know, maybe out of the 1,200 of you, one of you is going to fall through ice. It's very smart. Go really easy because you don't want to break again. A truly a Canadian problem. Fair. There's place, places snow here. Places snow here. Okay. That is interesting though. Automatic tomato sorting machine in action. I feel like I've seen this on how it's made. Whoa, that's crazy that we got machines that smart. They never miss. They never miss. Wow. They took her jobs. They took her jobs. Beat it. Beat it. That machine was trained by Mr. Miyagi. That's how. Yeah. Yep. Damn. So many greens still made it. What? Where? I don't see a single green dropping down there. Do you? I saw one. Nah. Nah. Look at the last red tomato that was black on one side. I saw that. The one that gets smashed at the bottom. That one? Oh, wait, no, not that one. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? That one. What the hell happened there? the heck happened down there when the sun hits the outside of these ice caves at mount rainer just right they become a rainbow ice cave that's so cool that's so cool bro i want to see that yeah me too there's so many things where i'm like damn i would love to see that in person there's a lot of really cool stuff like that like the iridescent like jellyfish and stuff. I find that all that stuff so cool. Last couple, last few. Acids kicking in. Damn, is jellyfish an herb? A fungus called dead man's fingers. Whoa. That's creepy. That's so creepy. So creepy. Anybody that's sitting with somebody right now or has somebody in their home, if you haven't done this in high school, do this now. It's the weirdest shit. Put your hand against the other person's hand like this. Okay? So you're like this. This is you. This is the other person. They're like this. And with your other hand, feel this finger. It feels just like a weird corpse finger. It's so strange. You, you have to do it with somebody else, though, because it can't be both your finger. But it's really weird. It, it feels like a weird K 
Can't feel it. Feel it. It's like your fingers numb. It's just, it's gross. What? You'll see. Just try it. You'll see what I mean. Okay, just try it. See what it, uh, Try and see what I mean. Be right back. Waking wife up to do this. Don't wake them up. What those fingers do? I'm telling you, just try it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's weird. It feels really weird. That's fucked. It's weird, right? Does anyone try? Does anyone actually have somebody with them? Is any couch couples? It does. It's weird. It's called giving myself a stranger with my dead fingers. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Feel their finger or mine. You squeeze them both. So if your fingers are like this, you're on the outside squeezing both fingers down like this. It's weird. It's weird. Wait, what is it again? You do this with another person. And then that first finger, you feel it like it's one finger. And it's really weird. My husband yanked my hand to try it. <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> Um, ew, it feels numb and weird. <laughs> I don't like it. It's like it's your finger, but not. It's just like a weird dead finger. I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. See? Now you guys understand. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a random person walking by my house to try it. <laughs> Give him the old dead finger. Listen, TwitchCon is coming up. You can find a person there, I'm sure. Okay, you can find a person to dead finger with. Um, this method for cleaning double-decker buses. It's just a big old scrubber. Hey, girl, you want a dead finger with me on TwitchCon? Ooh, sheesh. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Listen, I'll do dead finger with you. I'm sure that... Hey, everybody in chat that's going to TwitchCon, put your badge on or say, hey, I'm going. At somebody else and say, hey, want to do dead finger? You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> I did that finger trick with my husband and he was delighted. What does that mean? What does that mean? Why were they delighted? My grandma has been dead fingering for a century now. I hate it. Alex speedrunning weirdest community, huh? Yeah. 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 Damn, Alex really just win woman for like 1.3k people. I got you. I'm smooth like that. I'm smooth like that, okay? Y'all be touching fingers. You're welcome. You're welcome. <clears throat> Next up. A water boiling station. Okay. Bro, how how does shit like this exist in 2022? This is crazy to me. When I see shit like this, I'm like, damn, we're living in a different time. We're living in a different time in some places. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Do you know what I do to boil my water? I plug in a kettle. I turn on a burner, stick it on the stove. That's crazy. That's crazy that people out here are doing that like that. It's fucking genius. It is, but it's like crazy he's gonna give himself third degree burns they can't have coffee at night that's so true what do you do at night i can't i can't a nanobot helping a sperm with motility issues along towards it oh hold on a nanobot helping a sperm with motility is it like mobility? Is it supposed to say mobility? Or is it, what does motility mean? Sperm crutches? Is it supposed to say mobility? Okay. A nanobot helping a sperm with mobility issues along towards an egg. These metal helixes are so small they can completely wrap around the tail of a single sperm and assist it along its journey. No, motility is the word. What does motility mean? Like it's unable to move very well. It's motility specifically for sperm. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't that like entirely defeat the purpose of us making so much sperm? Yeah. That, that, why does it need to help it?
That is so weird. Yo, we well, got little fucking nanobots that could be doing shit like this. This is crazy. This is, a, this is a little robot inside you. Small enough to grab up your sperm and shove it in an egg. Imagine the person who was born from that watching their own egg vid. Oh, weird. You spin me right around, baby. Right around. You spin me right... Wait, hold on. Look at him go. Hold on. Go. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Do it. Do it. You spin me right around, baby. Right around like a record, baby. It's so stupid. Why you gotta be spinning, though? The coggers. I can't... I cannot with any of you. Okay, last one, last one. To allow riders to better view autumn leaves, the driver of this train switches off the lights so passengers can better view this maple tunnel outside of Kyoto. Ooh, let's see. Oh, oh. Whoa. Twain. Whoa. It's so pretty. That's so pretty. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's a vibe. Don't you don't you just feel all cozy on the Twain chat? We're just sitting. Thinking about my day. Going home from work. <sighs> I like this. I like this. Yeah. Where's the driver taking us? Where is this driver taking us? I don't see no stops here. I just see a lot of trees. The sounds are kind of scary though. Yeah, true. Wait, what if we do this? How's that? In a world of pure imagination. I'm waiting for the animatronic treks to pop out. I can't. Nice. 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 Okay, we can do one more. 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 Do one more. Do, uh, I can do a couple more. What time is it? Do two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Last two. Last two, okay. A Japanese conductor newly found serial killer. Okay. Okay. Catching a rare blue lobster. Oh, sheesh. We just got Whoa. A blue lobster. It up. It's one in Check out what we just caught in this trap. We just got a blue lobster. I looked it up. It's one in two million of how rare these are. Whoa. That is probably one of the prettiest blues and whites I've ever seen. Me oh when God. I get a knife in my oh CSGO my case. Just a comparison. That's what a regular lobster looks like next to it. That's so cool. Look how pretty blue that is. That is crazy. Wow. Real life shiny. That's crazy. That's crazy. That one's blueberry favored. Throw it back in. Blue raspberry flavored. Yep. Like, what do you do? Like, you can't take that now, but they're going to sell it for so much money. They're not going to throw them back. They're going to sell them. They're going to sell them. They're going to sell them. Last one. Raising anchor of your oil tanker only to realize you've hooked an unexploded torpedo. Stop. You normally throw them right back in. Oh, really? I'm surprised they don't take them and try to breed them at least. No to that. No to that. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. Thank you. No, thank you. But that's all she wrote tonight. I had fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, as always. You guys make my day just a little better sometimes. Sometimes I need it more than you guys need me. It's funny, because before I went live, when I was kind of struggling, I'm like, should I go live today? I'm not really in the mindset, whatever. I saw somebody in chat say, I had a really bad day, and I'm really excited for, what, for Alex's stream to cheer me up. And I was like, Oh, man. Sometimes I got to put my stuff aside so I could be that for you guys, you know? So you guys are that for me, and I'll be that for you. So you, guys you know? Are that for me, no, that's...
that's my voice. I don't want that. Nope. Don't like that at all. Um, but yes, um, Webby should be live at 5.30. And I believe I'm going to be on a stream at some point tonight. So keep an eye out for that. Come hang out. Say nice things. Spam emotes. You know, all that fun stuff. The raid... Don't... Okay. The raid command doesn't work anymore unless I actually click into it. You guys don't understand. Anyone... That, Nobody understands what I just said, but when I try typing it into my chat now, it doesn't work unless I actually go to the command. It's really stupid. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate you. Um, can we call you Pukey? Sure. Uh, what's tomorrow's stream? Tomorrow's stream um, is going to be something really exciting. So make sure you're here on time because tomorrow we're going to be doing...